Hey, it's a great day. I'm Energizer and today is day 94 on the Appalachian Trail. So let's do this. So for today, today is a Nero. I'm only walking about six miles down to Route 27 and uh, going into the town of Stratton. Uh, actually going to the Hostel of Maine, which is located outside of Stratton in the Sugarloaf Ski Resort area. Hoping to do all my resupply there. And uh, if I need to, I'll take their free shuttle to the convenience store. But, uh, but yeah, get down there and uh, get ready for the next leg of Maine. I am out of food. <laughs> I mean, I, I ate the last two granola bars for breakfast. So yeah, there is nothing in the rucksack. So definitely need to do a resupply and uh, get some food in the body. I'm kind of hungry. Been in the woods for, for four days. Today's the morning of the fifth day. And uh, yeah, I need uh, some town food to uh, build the uh, build the body back up. Yep. It's all good. Now that's a morning sunrise. Wow. This guy is as big as my hand. Well, big as a palm of my hand. Well, bigger than that. Here we go, 2,000 miles, oh yeah, 194 to go, too easy, yeah, head north, through the trees, you can see other crocker, gotta go up and over it, yep, Heading down from North Crocker. What a view. Wow. Another 2,000 mile marker. Yep, twice as good. <laughs> I'll take it. In one of the comments on one of the videos, uh, someone asked if the toads were replacing the newts. Uh, at least here in Maine, yeah, they they, they are, you know. Um, I think the camouflage, the natural camouflage of the toads is just incredible. I mean, you look at it and it's so inc intricate. It's just unbelievable. And... And they're big. The toads are, I mean, they are, they are decent sized toads. They're big. So, you know, I, I video and picture things on the trail that I think are interesting. And right now, yeah, toads are one of them. 
See the leaves on the trail? Why I'm showing you the leaves is because when I started on 1 May down in Georgia, the trail was real easy to see because about 3,000 through hikers had uh, walked on the uh, trail before me and had pulverized all the leaves on the trail and so you could spot it real easy. Well, since I've been to Maine, the trail's harder to see. The leaves are on the trail. And it's, it's um, not only, you know, a testament to, well, you know, not many people make it this far in a through hike, um, but also uh, a lot of the bubble is still behind me. I've walked through the bubble. And so the trail I'm walking on, um, yeah, hasn't been touched by too many people. Uh, just unusual, something I noticed when I got to Maine. I was like, whoa, yeah, all good. I want to show you my legs. Yep, yeah, I know, a sexy 60-year-old man's sexy legs, but look at this. Yeah, that's the whites for you. <laughs> that's the whites for you. So I'm closing out day 94 on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, walked the six miles from uh, South Crocker uh, Mountain uh, over uh, North Crocker and then uh, down to Route 27 where I was picked up by the uh, shuttle driver for the Hostel of Maine uh, and driven here. Um, and uh, this is really a five-star, first-class hostel. It's not like any of the other ones I've stayed at. I mean, it is just top-rate, uh, top-rate. And, uh, you know, the price is comparable to the other ones. So, you know, uh, but what I really like about this one is I haven't had to go anywhere. I mean, went in, I got to get the shower, shaved, got all cleaned up, got the nice loner clothes, you know, may the force be with you. Um, and, and then did the full resupply here. They've got a resupply area, a uh, locker area, which I showed you on video. Um, and the prices are, I mean, they're not Walmart prices, but they certainly are comparable or better than convenience store prices. So... 
So I went ahead and did the full four day resupply right here and uh, their fridge is well stocked. They've got my three major food groups on the trail. Um, frozen pizza, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, and IPA beer. So yeah, no reason to go anywhere. Uh, so uh, this is where I'm staying. i uh, be ordering some food from uh, one of the restaurants. And, uh, you know, you just pay for it over the phone. And they do, you know, the, the hostile version of Grubhub. They'll go pick it up and and um, you know get the food and I'll have a really nice meal tonight and again I did not have to go anywhere totally relaxed time I think this is going to be the second to the last time I go into a town before I get to Katahdin I think uh, Monson will be the final one um, and that's it so just felt like having a nice relaxed time uh, before I push on uh, tomorrow, I'll be going into the Bigelows. That's the last mountain range of Maine uh, on the Appalachian Trail. After that, uh, the AT just kind of goes flat. I mean, not Kansas City flat, but um, but AT flat. There's a couple bumps, but uh, it stays under the 400 foot um, per mile elevation changes. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to pushing through the Bigelows uh, tomorrow. Maybe get on the other side and then join the, uh, the home stretch to Katahdin. So, yeah, it's been a real good day. See you tomorrow.